Steve here, Shen RC, and I'm going through all my lipo packs here. As you can see, I have them all out here. And I have some in there. I'm putting them on storage charge and I'm checking them out. If any of them are puffed or anything. And I found that these uh, Gen Zace packs I have here. These ones here got, let me see if you could see it. They got puffed up. All these same brand ones here. They all got puffed so I discharged them down to 3 volts on my charger. And then I ran this uh, light discharger I made on them to fully discharge them until that don't glow anymore. And I leave it on there. So they're like no voltage in them. Then I'm going to put them in salt water. And then I'm going to have to get rid of them. But that's what I'm doing here. I'm checking all my lipos. Because some of them are bad, they swell up after a while. You gotta keep watching them and looking after them. So, so far, all of them look alright, except for those three. And I'm gonna uh, go with a little lower voltage for the storage. I usually put them at 3.85 for cell. I'm gonna put them at like 3.65 volts. So that way, it'd be safer too. It's better just to always check on them every once in a while if the voltage is good on them then uh, leave them in a high voltage state in your storage boxes because they're safer if anything happens you'll get not no big fire from them if you have any bad ones that are puffed I recommend getting rid of those just want to show you guys what was inside these Gen Zace batteries that got swollen they come apart. As you can see, that's how they make them. The little board in the front, the connectors. Anyhow, these got swollen, so I discharged them, and they're ready to go in the recycle bin. You don't want to keep these puffed ones. They're, they could probably still have been used, but better safe than sorry, so discharge them down and recycle them and that's what I'm doing here so we'll see you next time please give me a thumbs up and I appreciate the support guys as always take care beauty